Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive One, and we're going to start the timer. Boom. All right, Jonas. Uh, I know this is going to be a difficult one for you. Got Everything is difficult. Got a question. Don't to tell ask me you. I can't ever watch The Office again. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a pretty good one. You know me. I like to bring the would you rathers. But first, I got to start out with what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh, God. Hard question. I know. Um, like at any flavor, or just like the basics. Dude, just uh, it. I really like. Uh, well, I just didn't know if you were like because whatever like, you want. Whatever. Probably my favorite is like Moose Tracks. Okay, fair enough. Like, but I don't ever eat it, but it's, it's still real good. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's that's fair. I would have to say mine is anything with a lot of peanut butter in it. <laughs> but I guess Moose Tracks for me too. I like peanut butter cup anything. Yeah, it has caramel and fudge, and you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so next question is, uh, what is your favorite swear word? I don't, do I have one? I mean, which one do you feel like you use the most I mean, of the time? I mean, I like the, the versatility of the F word. Oh, right, right. Mm. You can use that for anything. Ooh, I tasted it in my mouth when you said it, and that sounded really strange. So I'm going <laughs> to yeah, rephrase it, but I could taste the F word in my mouth. Mm, spicy, mm -hmm. right? Spicy oh. F, dude. Okay. I'm down for a spicy F. <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, is, would you rather give up Ice cream for the rest of your life, yeah. or swearing for? Oh, the rest ice cream, of a thousand percent. Really? That easy? Oh yeah, I wouldn't even. Yeah, dude, I don't eat a lot of ice cream. I gave up ice cream pretty much for the most. Part. I eat, I eat that Halo Top because it's a nice way for me to like treat myself, like with something that's kind of bad for me. But like, I haven't eaten real ice cream in forever, and oh, like, really? if I never ate ice cream, I'd be like, whatever. Really? I swear all the time, dude. I don't on the channel very often. I sound like a good Christian man. Wow, dude. You that like was ice cream way that too quick. You like ice cream that much? I wouldn't say I like ice cream that much, but I like for swearing. Swearing is like second, like pff, whatever. Yeah, to but me. neither one of them are like big on my list of things. But you know, I figured like they were on equal yeah. fitting. So I mean, what about you? What would you do? I would definitely give up. Oh. No, I got to get up of ice cream, too. But that's, you know, <laughs> listen, this is... The... <laughs> so, look, it was easy for me. But it wasn't supposed to be easy for you. <laughs> but... Do you think I like ice cream that much? Oh, I don't think you like ice cream that much. That is not going to be a harder, harder question. It's all right, dude. No, I figured you were like a big swear head. I know you like to swear a lot. And I know you like, you know, Yeah, cream. I'd rather swear <laughs> than eat ice cream. If well, I had to say frick all the time or eat... Moose oh. tracks. I mean, I don't. But it seems like a very small price to pay for ice cream is what I'm saying. It's like swearing is not like. It's like I don't know why I would give up something that I really enjoy for something that I could easily give up. I feel like swearing I could easily give up oh, if absolutely. needed. If I needed to, like if it was like, hey, your head's going to explode if you swear. How long do you think you're going to make it? If Not, your head's going to explode. Yeah, like, okay. like there's a collar around your neck. You want to play a game? If you say one swear word, <laughs> you, the, the collar Now, let me ask you up. this. Actual swear words or, or the, the, the child? Ver like, if you say frick or I'm whatever. Trying, come on. Come on. Dang. I'm crap. Trying, come on. Come on, we're adults here, all right? Of course no, no. not, not that. Oh, well, then I, forever? Course. I can go forever. Without saying the F word? If I knew that, like, I do, I don't ever hardly swear when we're on our videos. You always swear, no, passion I swear. I passion swear, <laughs> but that's only when I'm Dude, real like, fired up. Your first day at work, you'd be dead. You'd find you at your desk. What time's your job start? Nine o'clock? You'd be dead by ten. <laughs> <laughs> Just because they're wasting my time, bro. <laughs> you be I dead by ten o'clock. People waste my time. You be dead by ten o'clock. I hear you yelling at the screen. <laughs> it's the only way it works if I yell at it. <laughs> <laughs> so how long do you really think you would make it without swearing? If I knew that I would die if I swore, I'd be very cognizant okay, about all it. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, but anyways, let's go back to ice cream. I got, I got this. I think this is a, a legit <laughs> question for you because you, I know you're a peanut butter connoisseur, right? I do like it. Now, do you like a peanut butter milkshake? No, I don't like milkshakes. Oh, at all? No, I have. Look, I have a natural aversion to ice cream because I know if I eat it, I'm just going to fart and, sh oh, okay. and <laughs> right, shit right, myself. I, okay, I've never seen you poop yourself. <laughs> you, you maybe it's what happened right now. Yeah. Um. But okay, like, cause there's some people. I would much rather have a peanut butter milkshake 
that is vanilla ice cream based with chocolate syrup oh. and fudge and oh and, and and peanut butter in it than a chocolate milkshake where you add peanut butter because the chocolate overpower chocolate ice cream is the most overpowering ice cream ever. Okay, so you you make you make a valid point here. You make a valid point here. You make a very valid point yeah. here. Because you know I like to put peanut butter in my Halo Tops, which are only 400 calories. High you add another 400 peanut butter. Right hey, top. look, I'm a grown man. All right, I do what I like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but when I put it into the chocolate ice cream. It just tastes like chocolate. It just tastes like chocolate. I'm like, is there enough peanut butter in here? I put a little bit more. I'm like, I still can't taste the peanut butter. Yeah, if you get a but chocolate milkshake it. with peanut butter in it, you're literally just wasting it because it just tastes like chocolate. Don't, don't you ever say that peanut butter is wasted yeah but when you <laughs> don't get, you ever why is vanilla a better catalyst for for condiments than chocolate i don't know vanilla is i mean it's called vanilla for a reason because it's like it's like of just the base yeah it's like a base plain flavor. base yeah but it has a distinct flavor like you can taste it vanilla does. it does and it also apparently it like takes on the other other flavors yeah. that are put into it that's why like most fruit ice creams or any flavored ice cream usually starts out with vanilla and then you add a different yeah, flavor to and it. And maybe it's just because it's such like a gentle flavor that it easily is overpowered mm -hmm. because like chocolate is a very distinct, like cocoa flavor is like, yes, it's, you, it's hard to overpower cocoa. It is. It is um, like even like chocolate orange and chocolate cherries and stuff like that. It's always like a hint of the orange or a hint of the yeah, cherry. Yeah. Like you get a chocolate covered strawberry, you taste the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> It's never like, wow, this mint really tastes chocolatey. It's this chocolatey it tastes a little minty. Yeah, and I don't know why that is. I wonder what the scientific, probably just the properties of the yeah, we, of the cocoa cacao bean. We're we're not we're not culinary artists here. Nah, but, uh, dude. But I, dude, I don't really uh, eat drink milkshakes very often either. No, but but uh, no. a peanut butter milkshake with like oh, fudge and peanut butter and uh, vanilla amazing. ice cream, dude. That's real good. That sounds good. It does. It does. Not not something I'm going to get anytime soon. No, I used to get them when I go to Cold Stone sometimes because Cold Stone has like bomb ice cream and stuff. I used to be a cloak a Cold Stone denier. Oh yeah, why's that? And I was I had a come to Jesus moment when I lived in uh, I think it was New York. There's when no I, Cold Stones in Austin, by the way. There's but, none. No, not one. There's there's a there's a fake one in the mall. It's the same exact thing. It's called like. Cold brick creamery. <laughs> <laughs> Cold brick. But anyways, what was your... Yeah, but uh, I, I went there and I was like, dude, this is just... It's just a, it's a gimmick. It's a meme. And to those people out there who haven't had Cold Stone, it is not just a gimmick, but they take your ice cream and they put it on this cold slab and they flip it around with looks like two freaking squeegees. And any topping you want. I mean, who? Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Dude, any topping you want. You want to know what's really good? You get They have a cake batter ice cream. <laughs> it tastes like vanilla cake batter. Then you get brownie in it and fudge, and they mix that stuff up. Dude, fattest boy plate cup in the world. Bomb, though. I mean, it, it, sound, it sounds good, I guess. But it, it's still just them, like, slapping ice cream on a... It looks unsanitary. It looks, it looks gross. It, but it it makes a big difference in the way it tastes. Oh, it, it really tastes, does. And well, in all their ice cream, they make it all there themselves too. I mean, you can get any you can get any flavor you want at Dairy Queen from what they have available. Right, it's, right. It's yeah. always contingent on what they have available, but it's a big difference from Cold Stone. It yeah. is. And I don't know why. I don't know what they're doing if they're adding like crack to the ice cream or something. I feel like they're adding crack to it, honestly. Yeah. I'm not sure if it is actually crack, but I feel like they are definitely adding crack. Maybe they put it in their crack. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's what they're doing, Jonas. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the secret ingredient is. <laughs> it's, it's some sort of crack. Yes, herbs and spices. Oh, that's gross. I don't like herbs or spices. Give me salt and garlic. And other than that, get that thyme, rosemary, sage out of here. Fair enough. Oregano. The, More though like I, oregano. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had Cold Stone in so long, though. Yeah, I haven't had like real life tell you. in a long time. Not not my biggest thing. I would definitely take swearing. Um, I would take swearing over ice cream. Ice cream just isn't healthy. How about uh, The Office versus swearing, Jonas? Which one are you taking there? <laughs> oh, is this actually a hard one? Uh, no, I'd probably still swear, dude. I'd find something else to watch. Okay. Because what what's on TV doesn't really matter. I don't watch it anyway. Swearing versus masturbating. Oof. I buy swearing. 
<laughs> you could never touch yourself again. Ever. Yo. Could, you couldn't even hold it to go pee. You just had Yo. to like. That would. <laughs> Every time your hand got close, you just got like it an electric like shot. shaking and pushed your, pushed your hand away. It's <laughs> like an EMP. Yeah, <laughs> right? Boom. Exactly. So. Just like blow your hand away from it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, anyways, we got to go. What about you? Swearing or masturbating? What are you talking about? I don't do either one. <laughs> okay. That's all the time we have for today's episode. TheCrazyTown.com is where you need to go right now to subscribe and for journalists. TNT. Oh, yeah.